The snipers heard your helicopter and took off. You guys saved my life. I'm glad you're all right. Why is Majestic 12 attacking? You with the NSF? We have a common enemy, if that's what you mean. MJ-12 is short a UC. They lost the one in Hong Kong, and now something has happened at the Pasadena Ocean Lab. Are the Vandenberg Labs safe? The base is locked down until we can destroy the enemy bots. Unfortunately, MJ-12 disabled our own bot defense system, and no one has been able to activate the backup power. I could give it a shot. Where are the controls? There are two separate units at the west end of the base. It won't be easy. MJ-12 has hacked the security grid and taken control of nearly all of our defenses. Turrets, cameras, alarms, and they have snipers everywhere. Easier than a straight fight with military bots. I suppose you're right. I can give you a map. One of the units is in the main complex. The other one is in an exposed location. The activation code is 5868. Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex. Last episode, we bummed around Morgan Everett's place and finished off the Paris mission. We were told to come to Vandenberg to see Gary Savage of X-51. And we are on our way to finding a universal constructor so that Everett can synthesize a cure for the Grey Death. But it just so happens MJ-12 are also in the search for a universal constructor because we were never properly trained in its operation. So the one in Hong Kong is now lying at the bottom of the ocean somewhere. And those guys just got fucked up. So now that we have very... Uh, very... oh fuck, I keep fucking my words up, I'm sorry about that. Now that we have a lot of skill with the... <laughs> that'll do. Now that we have a lot of skill with the sniper rifle, we can use it quite liberally and even no-scope it. So we can see a whole lot of goons down there and we are dead straight holding this thing. So we can essentially use it as an instant death ray. And that is of course the best way to use the sniper rifle. And we can see there's a skylight here. And there doesn't seem to be anyone in the lobby but there are two commandos right out front. So, I don't know if we can actually do anything about that, but fuck it, I'll give it a shot. Uh, oh. So the roof of this place is rather strangely shaped. There's some serious military bots down there as well. I'll try and fly a spy drone down there. I'm not entirely sure if this will work, but we got to give it a go. Uh, nice. Enemy bot destroyed. Three left. Oh, thank you, Jock. Well, there's one down there as well. Oh, we need 18 seconds. Fuck.
longer under lockdown. Maybe someone in the communications building can put you in touch with Savage. I'm going to leave you for a bit. Believe it or not, Tong's in California. Sounds like he's in trouble. No, I don't believe that. Not quite sure what he would be doing there, but that's okay. Maybe he's in on uh, holiday or something. Is Vandenberg in California? I don't know. Maybe that's why Jock's so um so messed up about that. I don't know if you could call uh, being calm and collected messed up, but you know what I mean. Okay, so it looks like we have some sort of security system right here. Now I definitely heard someone freak out when I landed on the ground there. Oh fuck. Yep. Alright. We're gonna have to find a way to deal with those bozos. Do we have any grenades? No. Hmm. Hold on a second. Whoops. I spill my drink. Music sounds a little low. Hey, buddy. Oh, JC, the expert marksman. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, we don't want to fall down there. Is he on his way back? Oh, man, this, this is a clusterfuck. Well, hello, cat. Um... What can I do to deal with this? Well, oh shit. <laughs> uh, that was close. Well, hopefully they won't bother me. Maybe they will. Come on. Uh. Well, that guy can run about all he likes. I'm taking the elevator. Are we on floor one? Okay, to floor two. Oh. Fucking open the door. Huh? What the shit? Alright.
You never cease to amaze me with your shooting skills, JC. Doesn't look like anyone heard that somehow. Stealth pistol will do wonders for you. Hey, stop right there. Oh. Well, this isn't going too well, is it? Uh, where the fuck's cloak? There it is. That's, I have nothing. Repeat, nothing here. Where'd he go? I wouldn't go so far as to call that a disaster, but I have done better. Sneaking, what's that? I have no idea what that word means. Oh shit. Okay. We're gonna wanna. Uh. What was that override code that chick gave me? Uh, 5868. The music's still playing as if there's a dude running around alerted, but I can't find anyone. Not that I'm complaining, because it's a pretty rockin' track, and now that I've turned it up, you may actually uh, hear the soundtrack, because it would be most, uh, most a calamity if you couldn't. <laughs> that a dude? No, that's just a camera. Okay, well. And I can't get in there. Well, fuck a doodle do. <laughs> oh, JC, you're killing me. Alright, there we go. Oh, knives. I sure do love knives. There we go, and we can even heal my left arm. <laughs> left arm is always your priority, not your face. 
Oh, what the fuck. Excuse me, bitch. Excuse me, bitch. Oh, fucking... There we go. Alright. Oh, shit. Oh, yes. We'll name this episode The Storm on Vandenberg, because I've gone fucking nuts. I never did like sneaking, I tell you what. Okay, off. Wow, and that guy didn't even notice. Holy shit. Well, that's gotta hurt. Alright, so that's all them dealt with. Oh, and we have some rather deadly looking lasers here. Back here. Mm, looks like a back entrance. Can hack into this computer. To Savage, or from Savage to X51. like a uh, rallying the troops message. Alright, how are we going to deal with this shit? Maybe we'll go outside first. Boing. Uh, so we can go up, or we can go out this door. The door's locked though, so maybe we won't go out there. Fucking ladders, I swear to god. Alright. Uh, there's another one. There we go. Suppose we can get down from here? Doesn't really seem to be any sense in trying. Seeing as we've cleared out the front entrance, fucking ladders! Seeing as we've cleaned out the front entrance, it doesn't really seem to be any point to jumping off there. Alright, okay, we're going to have to reset the uh, switches that the chick upstairs talked about. That soundtrack really does appear stuck, doesn't it? I need to talk to Gary Savage. How does it look out there? We got those bots brand new from a guy in Hong Kong, but I guess we should have locked down the power grid, huh? I took care of the enemy bots, but there might be a few snipers left. Be careful. We think Dr. Savage and the others are in the control room in the second floor of the command building, but communications are down. The person we sent to find them hasn't reported back. We gave him our key to the control room. I'll check it out if you want. How do I get there? The trap door in the back room goes down to the utility tunnels, which connect to the command building. We had to send someone that way because of the shooting. Maybe he didn't make it through the radiation. I don't know. 
He had no protection. The only hazard suits are in the command building itself. Well, that's just a masterpiece of design then, isn't it? So we've got ourselves a new goal to find Gary Savage, which I believe was the old goal, but whatever. You saved our asses. Well, hopefully I saved more than that. That was quite a battle. If you like. Pretty sure I just stood on top of a building lobbing fucking spy drones. But if he wants to compliment me, then that's fine. <laughs> Solid show there, cat. Um, nothing. Of course, they're locked. Looks like a dialogue between Thompson Reynolds and someone else for a passcode. Tunnel 01 and Omega 2A. Okay. Before we head down the trapdoor of death, we're going to play some pinball. Alright, now we're going to go back out and we're going to do a perimeter of the building. Fucking ladders. Alright, so that's the second code. But I think these were just to shut down the bots, so since we did that with the with the fucking spy drones, I don't think that will effectively do anything. But, hey, skill points are skill points. Ah, there's nothing up here. We must be full on sniper ammo or something. Oh, there's a dead guy. Oh, there's a vent. Yes, of course, there's a vent. I still can't get into that fucking room. So I guess Venti McVent Vent <laughs> is gonna have to wait for the moment. Alright, there's a dude. Yo, yo dude. Where is that other vent? There it is. It's under the stairs, of course. That's where you hide everything, you see. Under the stairs. And we're already full on bioelectric cells. Well, let's drop this fucking knife. 
use one of these and pick that back up. Good stuff. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Next is dealing with this. We have tools to spare, of course. Another entry of the man who is Thursday. up until a minute ago. My assistant's still being held somewhere. I don't think I've come across him. If you want to look for troops, you should log into the security network. The username is command, and the password is Zebra Force 2. Not a bad idea. Spill my drink. Let's turn that back down. <laughs> oh, there we go. Let's drop these useless fucking things and use one of those, pick that up. Ah yes, the tool shed of the decade this is. I give up, I give up. Calm down, I'm here to help. What can you tell me about the attack? They took over the building. We're finished. Anything specific? I'm heading to the command center. I don't want any surprises. If I was you, I'd go through the tunnels. You could use the security system to see if the coast is clear. The login's tunnel 01. The password's Omega-2A. Any troops down there? Well, I heard them talking. They don't want to get caught from behind, so they left a few spider bots down there. But guess what? I found an EMP grenade in the storage closet. You can have it if you think you might go down there. Sure. Be careful with that thing. Well, what skin is it off your nose, huh, Tim Baker? EMP's not gonna do you any harm. Hazard Lab, huh? Hmm, yes, I sure would love in the uh, bio container, <laughs> but unfortunately I do not have the means to go in it. So, we're gonna do this sort of half-life jumping about here. Oh, fucking dick faggots. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so we found a range mod up there. Oh dear god, ah! Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Alright, you're gonna have to go, buddy. <laughs> you're causing me far too much trouble. And you too, nanovirus storage container. Uh, Omega 2A. Oh, what do you know, it's not even the right code. Fuck it. This is why I do not put codes into security terminals, because it's always the wrong one, no matter what I do, it is always going to be the wrong one, and I've already logged into it, so fuckity fuck. So it seems like the, uh, the Grey Death comes in a container marked with red, and Ambrosia comes in a container marked with green, so having handy colour coordination like that uh, really lets you know whether you should be handling the barrel or not. And that sounds rather um, 
sexual, but look, really, just fucking deal with it, alright? Now, what am I looking for here? Um, I'm looking for a hatch of some kind, aren't I? Isn't that what I'm here for, or am I just fucking about? Sure, there was a hatch in here. Oh well. Fuck. Put it down to my shitty looking skills, but I can't find the hatch, so I'm going to heal up and go the other way. We can have a look through here where they've got the bots stored. You don't want to mess with them, that's for sure. Lambs are always handy. Oh, not a dead body. Well, even in death, he was the mechanic of my dreams. <laughs> Oof. Don't quote me on that. That was shit. Alright, let's keep going onward into the next building, because my subpar hatch-finding skills have presented me with a little bit of a problem, whereby I have to go this way rather than the other way, so... Fuck it. Fuck. I've got to I've got to stop ending every sentence with uh, some derivative of fuck, but onward we go. Oh shit! Oh good, I thought I was going to hit the ground with some force. GC, I'm depending on you. When you find Savage, get him to help you uplink Daedalus. The Milnet computer should be near the control room on the second floor of the command building. Well, we'll put the range mod on the pistol because it's starting to get out of hand just how bad I am with that thing. Now it's time to deal with some spidey bots. Fuck. <laughs> ah. Yes! My powers of prediction! We just reset something in here. Not quite sure what it was, but let's roll with it. This is looking like the longest episode yet, but you know what? You can fucking deal with it. So we've got a code there into the generator room, but I'm not aware of any codes. And this thing here is going to open up a lot of spider bots. But you know what? I'm pretty sure there is a way to get on top of these pipes. If I could remember how. Whoops. I think it's something to do with this door. See if I have any codes. Um, well, where would codes be? Goals, notes. Um, yeah, we don't have the code. So we're just going to have to hack into it. So gasp in awe, ladies and gentlemen, at the generator room. Yes, it is quite wonderful. But it is also flooded. Oh no. But luckily we are a swimming expert and we can very easily traverse these wet terrains. How did the generator room get flooded? Who fucking knows? You'd, you'd think this was built under a lake or something, but you know what? No, it's in the middle of the desert, so... Where'd all this water come from? How'd to get in this room? You'll never know. Not that you should really care either, because it's pretty insignificant information. They just have to do something to uh, increase the use usefulness of the swimming skill. Which some would tell you is not useful to begin with, but I would tell you that they are dreaming. Yes, folks, they are dreaming. Let's try and get some air here before we plunge into the depths of the generator room. 
That's not a phrase you would hear too often. Oh, we don't have the code to get in. Damn it. Well, I'll be damned if I'm wasting another couple of multi-tools on this shit, so... For now, you're going to have to just suffer in the eternal agony of never knowing what's in the generator room. Okay. Well, that seemed to have solved my problem. Oh, the door. No, not the door. Shit. Okay. I guess that's what that button's for down here. It's for resetting the door. Boing. Maintenance needs a key code, which I don't have. Oh, shit. And it seems this place is filled with some sort of horrible green toxin. So, we're gonna climb through the vents like a good secret agent. And we can even fall in there. Well, I'm glad I spent two fucking multi-tools going in the generator room. Um... Shit, is that really it? Thought there was a way to get on the pipes. It must be this. Three picks, though. You fucking suck my dick for three picks, buddy. Um, I guess I could just run through here. F9 and F11. Mmm. Yes. Oh. There's nothing I love more than slow moving doors when I'm dying. There we go. laser wires. The best things in the world, obviously. I love them very much. Replacement medkits are always useful. Okay. So, in order to deal with this slight environmental hazard, we're going to actually avoid it. Because, obviously, you know that avoidance is the best measure of dealing with your problems. And... This guy's going to get a fucking EMP on his face, because I don't give a shit. Oh, bouncing physics. Oh well, it's alright. Mm, well, I definitely want that lockpick. Is there any way to get down without dying? <sighs> nope. Out of the way, you stupid box. So we have a control panel here, and this will presumably raise the bridge. Indeed. Hmm. But unfortunately, in order to get there, I'm going to have to run through these wires. And nothing of value was lost.
Well, Icarus is uh, talking smack again, and look where we are. We're right back here, and it looks like the soundtrack has reset itself. So, thank God for the small things. But we now have this key code, which we can use to access Control Center. And we can finally speak to Gary Savage. Didn't take too long, did it? Only about an hour. Was rather succinct. Jacob's Shadow, Chapter 32. Jacob looked at her and watched all the regret drain from her eyes. She tossed the empty revolver onto the body next to her, the gun in her hand, the gun in her other hand, never moving an inch from the point that Jacob guessed was just above the bridge of his nose. You don't have to do this. It doesn't have to be like this. Oh yes, yes, I'm afraid that it does. He slowly shook his head. The window cracked and for a moment it sounded as if a wasp had buzzed through the room. Then a dull thud as her body dropped to the floor. Blood poured from the cavity that had been her skull, a wide black pool that spread like a shadow in the darkness. Jacob knelt and rubbed his fingers in her blood. Monk never missed with a sniper rifle. Not ever. And with this uh, fractured story that we're getting here, it's getting really difficult to actually understand what's going on. But I'm sure one of you smart, busy bodies can quite figure out the metaphor that it's trying to go with. So we have a few... We have a few emails here which you can read on your own accord. I will not prolong this video any further by doing so myself. But the option is there, should you choose to want it. And yes, that does look like quite the electrical hazard. You might want to fire the uh, electrician that installed this system. Well, Daedalus seems to be getting a little edgy. Uh, the Milnet is, as far as I can recall, the military network. And that is something that Everett was talking about, that Daedalus was required to access the military network in order to actually function. But anyway, look who this is. It's a familiar-looking green-clad character. Mr. Carter. Yep, they ran the old dog out. You were dismissed? All of us career types. They want cadets who've never been anywhere except UNATCO and the UNATCO Academy. Easier to manage, I suppose. Time to come out here and lend a hand. I knew what Savage was up against. I just didn't want to admit it. It's an honor to have you with us, sir. All right, enough bawling our eyes out. We've got work to do. So, if you remember from way earlier in the UNATCO videos, when logging onto Sam's computer, we were given information about Gary Savage. So the uh, seeds of this meeting were sown quite early on. Oh, there's a nano key just there, but this door will not open. No, not for anything. We saw the battle through the cameras. I can't believe you pulled it off. You saved our lives. Dr. Savage would like to thank you. Well, Dr. Savage can thank me all he likes, because here we are. And Savage has the unique privilege of being the only sufferer of androgenic alopecia in this game universe. So it is rather unfortunate for him, but, you know, it sort of adds to his charm, I guess. I'm Dr. Savage. Thank you. We were close to surrendering when you landed. J.C. Denton. I'm working with Morgan Everett of the Illuminati. He's developed a cure for the Grey Death, and we were hoping to get time on your UC to manufacture it. Everett contacted me just before the attack. Naturally, we'll manufacture the cure once the computer's back up and we get a containment unit for the UC. How close are you to being operational? My daughter's on an expedition to the Ocean Lab right now to find a schematic for the containment vessel. But Lord knows when the computer will be back up. It was damaged during the attack. I'll look at it. In addition to the UC, Everett and I need your connection to the Milnet. Yes, he said something about an artificial intelligence. The Echelon system. Something called Icarus and Daedalus? 
Another attack happening as we speak. I'll explain later. Well, the main terminal is in the room at the top of the stairs. Log in G Savage, password Tiffany. I'll open the doors. I would say it's too dangerous. A lot of damaged equipment and hot power lines up there. But until the computers are up, the UC's just a box of bolts. Okay, so we have a universal constructor right here in this room. And in order to upload Daedalus to the military network, we're going to have to fix his stupid computers. So the doors have now been opened. I should be able to duck in here. Here we Just go. Just bring up the system for Savage. I'll route Daedalus through your info link. Don't worry, there's very little risk. Well, Everett says that, but I'm not sure we fully trust him yet. So, in order to deal with this, what we're going to have to do is get in through the roof here. Now, there's something rather curious that they don't tell you about, and that is that you can destroy the fan. Unfortunately, you cannot just whack this you will indeed need to lamb it up. And I am no stranger to lambing it up, so... Hopefully my pistol skills are adequate. Excellent. Now this is by far the safest way of dealing with this little electrical disturbance. So what we're going to want to do is gonna wanna is to fall directly into this elevator as you can see there are no electric shit things <laughs> happening anywhere in the vicinity of it ow Now, how do we get there? Well, you'll just have to wait and see, won't you? Oh, dicks in a bag. Looks like we're not going to be doing that. Whoops. Wasn't that switch meant to turn all this shit off? Well, it looks like I've fucked something up. Let's go back upstairs. Ah, yes, that's the computer we want. So what the fuck did I just switch on down there? to Savage. We're expecting a communication from Bob Page. Excellent. We're all here. You aren't in a position to make any demands, Page. On the contrary, my mission might have failed, but so did yours. I captured your daughter an hour ago. Tiffany. She's been quite forthcoming. So you were hoping to find a containment unit in the ocean lab? I demand to see my daughter immediately. 
Well, like you, we lack certain components of a universal constructor. The reaction modules you stole when you left Area 51 to go into business for yourself. Don't negotiate. Oh, yes, Mr. Denton. I wanted you here for a reason. Look at me. You interfere in any way, I will kill that young woman. I mean it. I want those components, Savage. You will bring them to the abandoned gas station west of Vandenberg in exactly one hour. You hurt my daughter, and I swear to God. Bring me the reaction modules. I don't think we have a choice. Oh, I should have never let her go. Page will resume production of the plague if he gets the components to build a UC. I know, I know. But I can't let them kill Tiffany. Tell them you're sending someone with the components. I'll have my pilot drop me off where they're holding your daughter. Maybe I can rescue her. That's too risky. We don't have a choice. Trust me, she'll be fine. Yes. Yes, we've got to try it. Just don't let anything happen to her. Mr. Denton, thank you. Here's a photograph so that you can identify her. She'll be the one uh, held up in the hostage room, I suspect. But... A lot has happened... ...just now. Do you think I'm doing the right thing? Going after Savage's daughter? Absolutely. Never negotiate with a terrorist. Tiffany could lose her life. Never negotiate. You will only encourage more acts of terror. Besides, you're gonna bring Tiffany back alive. Yes, sir. I'll do what I can to get her back. Yeah, so... Essentially, what just happened is... Oh, fucking hell. Alright, I've landed. You won't believe this, but I have Tong with me. He looks pretty sick. Savage has promised to get him some medical attention. Meet us at the base entrance to the northeast. Yeah, so if I can be allowed to speak on what just happened... When we uploaded Daedalus to the network, Icarus jumped on board and merged with him due to something called the Aquinas Protocol, which is sort of part of the, the echelon system that Bob Page owns. So he now has control over Daedalus, so we're basically powerless at this point. But we do have something that he needs. And that is one of the parts to create a universal constructor because we blew up the one that he already had and the other one had parts stolen from it by Gary Savage himself. But unfortunately we can't use those to make our own because we still are missing something that got destroyed or something or other. And that is a containment unit that he keeps talking about which we are hoping to find in the underground, or the underwater base, I should say, which is why he sent Tiffany out in the first place. Unfortunately, that didn't really go down as well as planned. And, well, now we've got to go in and rescue Tiffany, and we're also going to have to go get that containment unit. Hopefully, we can keep Bob Page on the back foot. But, then again, he does have Daedalus, so... He's not completely GC. at a loss. Hello? What's wrong? An error. One of the experiments. I have the Grey Death. He flew into San Jose and had no way to get here. I am not a high order term in the equation anymore. Do not concern yourselves with me. You aren't dead yet, Tong. Savage will take care of you. I'm here for selfish reasons. To have access to the cure. Let's just hope we're able to manufacture it. Savage's daughter failed to get the parts he needs for the UC. She's being held prisoner by Majestic 12. We should get moving. Tony Maris is on the way to help Tong. By all means, go. You don't have time to stand around on account of me. Hop in, JC. Alright. So, sounds like Tracer Tong has the Grey Death. That's no good for anyone. Well, we'll see you next time.
Oh, dicks. Ow. Well, we might as well use this. Hmm. This didn't end as well as I wanted it to. Oh no, it happened again. Damn it! 